right? Mm -mm. I'm gonna make you a shake. I'm gonna show everybody how to do it. Here we all go, right. let's set this down. All right, all right. Right? Yes. All right, everybody's gonna You're grab ready? their hubby. Hubbies are gonna join us right now. All right. We're gonna get our let's little, our yoga on at home. A little stretch. We're gonna stretch out. Yep, that's not gonna fall off, and if it does, it's okay. All right. <laughs> All right. You're, you're the leader. I'm the leader? You're the leader. This is awesome, because this you is, usually don't is, let me yeah, be the this leader. This is the one time you get to be the leader. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to milk this one then for all it's worth. Okay, are we ready? Yeah. All right, everybody. So we're going to do a little fiancé flow. This might be the last yeah. year that we get to call it that, babe. Yeah. So we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to check into our body. We're going to try to quiet down our mind. We really do do yoga, but less going to the yoga studio than it used to be. So I love an opportunity at home to just settle into our body and to get that done. And also to relieve some stress because for a lot of people, this is a really stressful time of year and we need to manage it all. Right? <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, all right. let's do it. So let's start with ragdoll. Let's just drop our shoulders. Check in with your face, your neck, your jaw. And let's just drop it low. Opposite hands to opposite elbows. Start to rock <laughs> back and forth. Soften your knees. Maybe come onto your tippy toes. So in my yoga practice, nothing has to be perfect, right? Nothing has to be super fancy. We're just going to listen to our body and let our body be our guide. So I like to keep my feet together. Pony out my feet. Maybe come onto the tippy toes. Opening everything up. Bending your knees if you don't feel flexible, especially in the morning mm -hmm. if it's cold outside. Lower back. Let's come into a little ball, yeah? Just opening oh. up the feet. Everybody forgets about their feet, so I think it's really important to stretch out the feet. Right? Yeah. <laughs> is that going to bug you? Yeah. It's... That is going to bug you. I know. Should we? I'm going to put it right here. Audio, everybody. This is live, live. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just in case you say anything amazing. <laughs> so open up your feet, drop your shoulders, shake it out. Let's do one more ragdoll. And that takes us right into our first downward dog. So downward dog is an awesome position to stretch out the hamstrings, drop your chest. Face comes right through the shoulders and just pony out your feet. Great opportunity to make it your own, right? Open up the hips. <sighs> Huge breath in. Should we do a couple plank dolphins? So let's drop into plank, scooping out your belly. And then back to dog, pony out your feet. Back to plank, let's do five of these. I'm just gonna put my hair up. And four, three, good. Two, doesn't have to be perfect, right? And one. So drop your heels, drop your chest, three-legged dog, right leg to the sky. And see if you can push the ground away from you. Opening up the inner thighs, the hip flexors, bend your knee. And we'll just circle our knee all the way up and around, both directions. Now we're gonna sweep our knee through past our chest, through our shoulders, all the way into a lunge. Doesn't that feel good? Scott's actually really flexible. <laughs> You're a good yogi. Most men are not. Most men don't like to stretch because it's uncomfortable. It's painful. So open up your hip flexors and just rock around a little bit in the stretch. I like to roll onto the outside of my feet, right? If that feels good, get into the glutes. Here comes the Malibu parrots. It's Morning amazing, parents. right? So now walk your back foot in a touch and straighten both legs. And it's just a forward triangle and drop your chest. <sighs> drop your shoulders. Feels good, yeah? And then back to lunge. Let's drop our back knee. <sighs> good, all the way up to the sky, to the ceiling. Maybe you're in your kitchen, maybe you're in your living room, maybe you're in your bedroom, you don't need a lot of space. Open up your side body. Obliques start to stretch out all the way up, all the way over. Maybe grab your fingers, interlace your hands. You can reverse the position of your hands. Pull your shoulder blades together. <sighs> Take a huge breath in. Maybe you're forgetting to breathe this holiday season. That's Gatsby. <laughs> Gatsby. Hi. 
straighten your front leg. Every time there's a yoga mat out, Gatsby is like you're ready to do yoga. So depending on how flexible you are, stay how Scott is, or drop your chest down. Lengthening your hamstring, pay attention to your feet. Don't be afraid to give your legs a little bit of a massage, right? So let's go back to straight legs. And now forward fold. So I love forward fold, it's just a surrender. Drop your chest. Ha, drop your shoulders, bend your knees, open everything up, shoulders drop. Neck softens, jaw softens. And rock around, side to side. Should we go all the way around the world? All so both way. legs straight, right? You can pony out your feet, heel to toe, listening to your hips, meet me in lunge. 90 degree angle, so your knee is never over your foot, okay? 90 degree angle. So we're gonna be really kind to our knees, kind to our back, roll to the outside of your feet, if that feels good. A more advanced stretch, just listen to your body. And yoga doesn't have to be perfect, let your body guide you. We don't have to get caught up in fancy words and names and positions, it's just moments to open up our body and stretch. Drop your back knee. Now we're gonna press our hips forward. Bring your shoulders back. Touch the ceiling, the sky. Oh my God, it's so beautiful today, right? Let's open up our side body, obliques. Ah, hips are tight. All the way around. Interlace your hands up above your head. Drop your shoulders. Press your hips forward. Right? Hands come down. Why don't we go into a lunge? And then we'll find our balance which requires a lot of core connection, okay? Drop into your lunge. And we'll get back to center so we don't have our back to everyone, but meet me in warrior two. So here's a great opportunity, everyone, to open up the thighs, open up the hips. So drop into your lunge. Straight line, fingertip to fingertip. <laughs> Reverse warrior. All the way up, out of your side body. And then all the way over to triangle. So I like straight triangle. If you're not flexible, stay in your lunge. Listen to your body. Let your body guide you. Bring your shoulder back. Does that feel good, babe? Yeah. Circle your wrist. So people forget about their wrists, right? What's that do? It just opens everything up. All the texting, all the computer work, all the cooking. Especially our kiddos. Open up your wrist. So now we're going to go back to forward fold, right? And then all the way back to center. Here we go. Hi, everybody. Drop your hips. Drop your hips, open up your hips. How nice for everybody to be at home and be able to get a yoga flow in, right? Not have to leave the house, the living room, the kitchen. Right, so now we're gonna find our balance right here. And we're gonna come into warrior two right here. Drop your shoulders. So check your form, press your knee back, right? Line up your back foot, which is squared off, and your front toe, and just drop into it. Perpendicular in your front foot. Yep, yep, right? And you feel it in your inner thighs. Press this knee back. Ha, drop your shoulders, reverse warrior. Definitely more challenging. Body starts to warm up. The warmer we get, the more flexibility is possible. Reverse all the way down. See how your body feels. Straighten your legs if you can. <sighs> I know. to front lunge. We used to go to the same yoga class, everybody, and we never met there, which is so crazy. Ships in the night. We're both from Arizona, we never met there. Scott went to the U of A, my hometown, we never met there. All right, plank. You know what we've been doing this holiday season, which we might as well go into it. We've been doing um, planks and thanks. So you hold your plank and you use all 10 fingers and it's private and silent, so we don't have to say it out loud. And think about 10 things that you're grateful for this season. Could be family, life, health, community, success, whatever it is. And then I use my fingers to tap it out. So a pinky to thumb, right? 10 things you're grateful for. And it really creates energy and changes your mindset, improves your overall well-being. Scoop in your belly, squeeze your thighs, drop your heels, lengthen your neck, 10 things, here we go. <sighs> Breathing, just a little mindful distraction. <sighs> what are you grateful for this holiday season, right? <sighs> a lot to be thankful for. 
now slowly lower down. Let's land in child's pose. And in this child's pose, part your knees, drop your chest. There's a little pressure point right here in your forehead, right between the eyes. Let it just rest on the mat. Inch your fingers forward. Maybe shake out your neck a little bit. I like a really wide child's pose right here because it feels really good, like shoulder dips. You probably like a regular one. I'm gonna give you a little stretcher over here. So, thighs, right? Total surrender, chest drops. Really tight hips. We carry a lot of stuff in our hips, a lot of stress in our hips. So let all of this go. Let your inner thighs relax. Maybe part your knees a little bit more. And then just drop your chest. And this is an awesome exercise to do as couples, right? It's really intimate. It's a nice way of giving to each other, sharing massages, sharing a yoga practice, sharing family fitness understanding what's going on in each other's body, right? Doesn't that feel good? I'm gonna give you a little bit more weight right here because I know how tight your hips are. Good. Awesome. So let me just get a good stretch myself, right? So why don't we go... Do you wanna come back up? Are you gonna stretch? Okay, don't break me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you gotta really listen to your partner too when you're doing couple stretching because you're so strong like I could put my whole body weight on you and I feel like you would just crush me okay so let's come to tabletop All right. so let's get a little deeper in our hips let's quiet down our mind and as fun as it is right we don't take any of this seriously it's a great time to stop thinking so put your hands right under your shoulders and we're gonna straighten our right leg right behind us and for many of you this might be enough okay so stay right there. If you want a little bit more, take your left hand and make a straight line from your fingertip to your toes. <laughs> and sometimes, remember in yoga, we'll do crunches and you'll start to heat up your core. And I'm scooping out my belly and I'm reaching as far as I can. And if that's too much, you stay here. If that's too much, you just listen to your body, right? Totally safe space at home for so many people who don't even do yoga. We've got to move our body, especially if you're stuck at home for the holidays. Mobility, energy, all that stuff, right? Bring that knee down and let's do the other side. So left leg lifts, shake out your hands too. If it's too much on your wrists, just shake it out. Sometimes I change the position of my hands too to open up my forearms. I don't work that way. <laughs> <laughs> They're just experiments. Just experiments, right? You'd be surprised. But you're a great yogi. You're amazing. Yeah. <laughs> you are. Let's try a couple crunches. Reach uh. long, crunch, reach long, crunch. Should we do some cat cows? Yeah. Let's do cat cows. So, ha, tuck your pelvis under, round your shoulders. Shift the weight so you're light on your fingers. And look all the way up. And open up your jaw and your neck. Tuck your pelvis under, scoop out your belly. Look all the way up. And now we're gonna make giant hip circles, really big, opening up the hips, letting go of all the stress in your hips, all the tension, all the drama, all the trauma. Everything's in the hips, right? Roll it around, really big. Roll it around. Now we're gonna take our right hand to the sky to the ceiling, wherever you are. And I remind everyone in my class, I always incorporate this into my practice, to have an open palm. It's just a receiving palm, right? Body language really matters. And we have so many yoga flows on the app, so many great instructors, so many instructors from Sweat Yoga. We've got Lena on there. Jesse Golden's on there with us. We've got Couples Yoga. Now thread the needle, land on your shoulder. So, so many opportunities. Press your shoulder into the ground, let your temple rest on the mat. Your left hand, you can push the ground away from you if you want to open up your lower back a little bit more. Doesn't that feel good? <sighs> Huge breath in. <sighs> open your jaw. And come back to center. It's one of my favorite stretches. Doesn't yeah, that feel so good? good? So let's do cat cow again before we move on. I like to shift the weight into my knees and then I look all the way up. I open my jaw. I shake out my neck. Pay attention to the left side, right side of your jaw, your face, if you're grinding your teeth at night. 
So good. Left hand reaches all the way to the sky. Opening up your chest, your heart, your back. Circle your wrist. How are you doing, babe? Doing great. So now we're going to thread the needle underneath, landing on your shoulder. Totally opening everything up, right? Opening mm. up your lower back. Just stretching, releasing, letting everything go. Temple rests on the mat. Take this hand, push the ground away from you. <sighs> Great stretch. So good, right? So good. So now, let's face each other. We're gonna try something. So I did a really fun couples yoga with Tom Morley, and <clears throat> We did some really good, so scoot out, so scoot over, so we're, so we're lined up. So it doesn't have to be your lover, you don't have to have a fiance, you don't even have to have a man. Grab someone, could be your mom, could be anyone. So we're gonna sit crisscross, and I know your knees are really tight, so does that feel comfortable? Yeah, and then you check good. in with your partner, like what does that feel like, right? It's also a really nice moment for some eye contact. <laughs> so grab each other's hands, and we're just gonna rock, just to open up the glutes, okay? and then I'm gonna rock forward all the way. So I'm gonna go really low and stretch. And depending on your partner's flexibility, it's not a tug of war, it's actually a really kind and compassionate stretch. You might need to bend your elbows and sit up. So when you go back, you might need to sit up and bend your elbows so I get more of a stretch. Yeah. So it's a great opportunity to open up the hips and open up the glutes, right? Feel that? <laughs> Gently, yes. yes. <laughs> Right. It's really good. <laughs> All the way. Slowly. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> and all the way back. Okay, really good. So while we're sitting here, it's kind of nice to sit down and find yeah. some stillness. And to share your fitness journey with someone that you love and that you care about, right? We get so busy. And we do a lot of different things together. You golf, I teach classes. We used to go to yoga, and now we're busy with the kids. We don't always do that anymore. It takes a 30-minute commitment for couples to really connect, right? and open up their body and just release some stress. So let's just do some side stretches. This feels good, right? <sighs> I always feel like when you grab this way, pull, pull, you feel that? Yeah, that feels really good. It makes pull. it way harder, right? Yeah, I like that. Especially if you can get your shoulders back, right? So much tension in our shoulders. Right? Feels really good. Okay. So now we're gonna lay down. Why don't we put our head this way? So let me make it a little less provocative. <laughs> it's always hard to shoot these angles. So here's what we're gonna do. Find some stillness right here. Lengthen your legs. Put the top of your head on the mat, not the back of your neck. So get a little bit longer. See if you can scoot out of your hip sockets. And grab your right knee and pull it into your chest and circle your right foot. So we're just gonna check in with the hips again. Now let your knee fall to the outside of your ribs, out towards me. Doesn't that feel good? So the inner thighs open up. Press your left foot away from you. So you're creating some opposition here, some space, some mobility. Checking in with your hip flexor, right? Doesn't that feel good? Yeah, where you're putting your, you're pushing out, I guess. Yeah, so I'm pushing with my left foot. I'm pulling my right knee, and now, twisted okay. spine. But we're gonna glue these shoulders down. I'm gonna give you a little twist. Can you glue your shoulders down. Doesn't that feel good? <laughs> and look to the right, right. Yeah, totally. So you're gonna look in the opposite direction, right? Yeah. Take a huge breath in, just listening to your body. Don't force anything, especially if you're working with each other's body. Be gentle, take the cues. It's like body language, right? Yeah. Does that feel good? Okay, left knee comes into the chest. Right foot lengthen, straighten your leg. Push your right foot away from you. So flatten your right foot, push it away from you. Drop your shoulders into the ground. Circle your foot. God, don't forget about your feet, everyone, okay? Circle your feet. Now your knee falls outside of your ribs. Pressing the gut and that right leg away from you. Opening up your hip flexor. Shoulders drop into the mat. Shake your head from side to side. Now twisted spine. Uh, right? And look towards the left. 
Take a huge breath in. Don't forget to breathe, opening up your lower back. Amazing how much tighter you are when you don't do mm -hmm. this often. So now toes to the sky. We are gonna place the soles of our feet together. That might be enough for you. Don't ever be intimidated. You let your body go wherever you need to go. Press your feet together and just kind of tick tock your hips. You can make a little figure eight with your hips. Rock it around. See what feels good. Thighs, legs, stretching everything. Should we do a plow? What's plow, the plow feels good. What's the plow? Legs behind us. Oh. So scoot down so you don't. Yeah. So, plow, you have lots of options. So, what you're going to do is get your feet to the ceiling. Maybe one leg at a time for upside down splits. Totally listening to your body right here. And if you feel comfortable, your feet come behind you and you just land and plow, letting the weight of your feet stretch out your hamstrings. You can do wide legs, feet together, dropping your thighs to your chest. And then we're gonna rock it up, and we'll rock it back, and we'll rock it up, and we'll rock it back. Feels so good, right? And then let's do some more twisted spines. So let's face this way so we can mirror each other. So sit up really tall, shake out your legs, get your butt out of the way, <laughs> huge breath in. And then just a forward fold. So forward fold, challenging for many, but that's okay. It cools your body, it heals your body. See if you can get your chest up and out so it's a long stretch. Not a, not a ball, but a really long stretch. <sighs> wow, hamstrings are tight, right? So Scott's a major runner. He mountain bikes and he runs, and your hips are super tight. And we don't make time to stretch. So I really encourage you, bend your right knee. I encourage everybody that's watching right now to check out the yoga carousel. We have so many yoga flows. Amazing yogis guiding us through all that. Drop your back shoulder, sit up really tall. It's super important to listen to our body, to rest and recover, to stretch out, to maintain mobility, even for our parents, for our kids, for everyone. So twist a little further, slowly unwind, shake on our feet again. Huge breath in. <sighs> Drop it forward. Wow, right? Bend your left knee. Sit up really tall. Another opportunity, check in with your jaw, your face, your neck. Slowly unwind. One hand on your heart, if that feels good. Drop your back shoulder. Mm. Hi. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Slowly unwind. Crisscross. We're gonna get back into dog. So from right here, tuck your toes under. <laughs> Drop your heels. Another great stretch to do with your partner. You stay in dog and just ignore me, okay? And really trust your partner. And you gotta listen to the body right here. Right? Take it seriously, but not too serious. <laughs> Just listening to your partner. So you pull these hips back. You feel, how, you feel how different that is? So we do downward dogs all the time. It's just approaching it a little bit different. Dropping your chest. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So drop your chest and just ignore me. You might need to put hips, hands like right underneath the hips, but just pushing all this a little bit gently, yeah? Really gentle, gentle, right? So see what this dog feels like. Take a huge breath in, drop your heels. Come on your tippy toes, open up your feet. Ah, oh my God, my hamstrings. Drop your heels. Drop your chest. So now take a wide dog bib, a really wide stance right here. So this is hard for men, just like push-ups and upper body work are really hard for us. So this might be enough for you. Use your hands to support your, actually you, you do this pose in yoga, don't you? I can't do this because my shoulders, I struggle with my shoulders being strong enough. But it's amazing when you try a pose 
and then you nail it. And it's even more amazing how intimidated we are to try certain things. So we just give up before we even try, right? But doesn't that feel good on the thighs? Pressing your knees back. Should we try a, hands, uh, a headstand? Okay. Sure. So if you're doing a handstand for the first time, I never thought that I could do a handstand. It was actually Lena who has an incredible yoga practice on the app. So definitely check that out. She's so strong. I never could do a handstand. And she's like, of course you can do a handstand. You just need to understand how to get into it. And I really didn't think I could. And I used to do a really fun challenge with the kids. And we would do it up against the wall. Everybody can really do it. You just have to figure out how to get into it, OK? You're a pro at it, so I'm going to do it. Well, I, I think it's also good for the blood flow. It is. It's you really good to let the blood drain, drain, right? There's so many benefits of doing it. So what I, let me just talk them through it, because I know it's easy for you. I really had to learn how to do this. Well, you want to support your head well, right here. Hand position. Yeah, here. totally, OK? So you really want to support your head. And getting into it is just as important as being in it, right? So I haven't done this for a really long time, so we'll see. Let's see? And just finding your balance, right? That's intense. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I'll hold it. Join me. Join me. Okay. You do this all the time. I really had to work towards this. <sighs> so you like your hands better wide like that? Well, just you want to get it behind you. <sighs> yeah. And make sure you're supported. If you're trying that for the first time, maybe make sure your partner's spotting you or you're using a wall or you're doing it with the kids. So many fun family fitness opportunities, right? It's so good. Little way to pick up. I... <laughs> right? That's impressive. He had me at the handstand, Stuart. <laughs> How did I miss that in yoga class? Oh my goodness. So, all right, we're gonna wrap things up here before we lose everyone because I wanna give you. We could free flow. When we're in yoga class, we crank up the music and we just flow free. But yeah, if there's something else that you need to do, go for it. Actually, there's one more. Let's do one more. Let's do one more stretch. And then what I'm going to do is take everybody through a double smoothie. So I drink a superfood longevity smoothie every day, but we're going to double it up today. And I have a new recipe that I want you to try. So it's literally breakfast that you can knock out for two, for, depending on the size of your blender, you can knock it out for the whole family really easily. And then you get everything you need in all the superfoods, right? So I'm going to make a new one for you today. And he doesn't love shakes, so I'm going to make it really yummy for him. <laughs> okay, here we go. So on your belly, grab your feet and press the top of your feet into your hands so that you open up the quads. Open up the neck, open up the biceps, and just rock a little bit on your hip bones. <sighs> Such an awesome stretch. Press your feet into your hands. <sighs> Breathe. Shake out your neck. And I'm going to end in child's pose. You let your body guide you, babe, wherever you want to go. I'm just going to open up my shoulders a little bit further. Oh, goodness. 20 minutes, 30 minutes, that's all it takes to really tap into your body space, to open up the hips. Doesn't that feel amazing? That feels great. It's yeah. a perfect start to a day. It's a great way to end a day. That was really good, right? Yeah. Nice and great. slow, listening to the body, opening everything up. Doesn't have to be complicated. My mom is in town right now for the holidays. The kids are here. So my mom's going to bring us some of our ingredients. I set everything else up for us. While we're waiting for my mom, though, every time we finish a live, babe, come join me. We, you ready, mom? Come on. We do a Q&A. So today, since it's just us and not a bunch of girls, um, we have a couple questions from subscribers and from the audience oh. that they asked us to discuss. So we'll wait for mom to come out here. Maybe mom will even join us. And we're going to make um, a new recipe today that's going to be a cashew milk smoothie. So my recipe is you know, on the site, and I'm kind of a creature of habit, so I make the same smoothie every day. But we're going to add oats, raw oats, into yours, because I know you need like a, I do it as a meal replacement, and I know you get yeah. hungry. <laughs> so we're going to put oats in yours and cashew milk that's going to be high fat, really right? Great. I'm going to put it right on the bar. Let me help you. Come say hi to everyone. Come on, Mama. Good morning, Donna. This hi, is my mom, everyone. My mom, Donna, who's visiting me for the holidays. 
and I love having my mom at home. And my mom also has been drinking shakes every day. So if you don't mind, there was a period of time where my mom lives alone and she wasn't really fueling her body. So now she's doing the longevity shake every day for real. And I think you're feeling like I night feel and day. so much better. Yeah. Yeah. Stronger. And is it okay if I tell them also she was really concerned about calories and fat and all these other things and I had to like retrain her brain a little bit and explain to her that we're really fueling our body and we don't need to count calories and we don't need to worry about that. Um, I mean honestly like body of evidence I do so much fat in my shakes, MCT oil sometimes, bananas, almond butter, all the things that I really love and enjoy and it's easy right? Easy and the body needs it so thanks mom. And I'll make a little, I'm trying a new recipe, <clears throat> so I'll share a little bit with you. I'm using cashew milk. Mm. Yeah. Like What's the deal? What kind of different milk would you use? Um, I use almond milk um, every time I make a shake, so does my mom. So our shake is the same every day. Bananas, almond butter, almond milk, cinnamon, frozen fruit. So freeze your fruit, everyone, and it'll give you much better texture. So today for us, I'm going to do cashew milk. I'm going to put in frozen bananas and some frozen berries for fiber, because we need okay. that, right? And then I'm going to put in ice. It sounds like my neighbors are working on a garden <laughs> project, of course. Handful of ice, you need that for texture. I'm going to throw in some raw oats for us, just to give you a little filler, because I know you need that. And that's going to be really yummy. I love cinnamon. It's great um, for anti-inflammation. For inflammation, it's an anti-inflammatory, rather. And then I'm going to, I always put two scoops of the superfood blend in my shake, but because we're doubling up, I'm going to put a little bit more. <laughs> so you get everything you need, babe, for an energy and endurance and recovery. You get all your superfood blends. It's got herba mate. It's got maca. It's got matcha. It's got green tea, all these natural ingredients to give us energy. It's got probiotics for the tummy. Remember, we were talking about that. Flaxseed oil, hemp, chia seeds, fiber. So everything thing is in here and natural protein so I'm it's not a delicious and it's yummy right it doesn't have that like earthy taste and it doesn't have that um, artificial sweetener taste um, one more thing I was gonna tell you too it has natural protein so I'm not a big like protein powder person so this has natural protein in it. and then you just experiment a little bit to your liking I'm gonna put almond butter in here because I need the fat and I'm not afraid of that and I know you'll be hungry and upset with me if I don't put some fillers in this for you because this is gonna be our breakfast, babe, okay? Just almond butter? This is organic almond butter. I don't okay? put the fat in my... I know, Mom, but you could. See how we think as women? We think we can't have fat. We think we can't have calories and that couldn't be further from the truth in my opinion. So, look, I just made breakfast for two and what, Stuart? One minute? And with the kids, I have a much bigger blender. I will triple this recipe. Shake up your blender too, because sometimes everything gets a little bit stuck. Give it a good shake. Yeah. Do you want to, um, before I blend this up, do you want to answer a question with us? Because one of the subscribers sent in a question. And usually we do a live Q&A, but since you're here and you're here, before I blend that up, maybe mom, you'll talk to us and you can at chime into this. So one of the questions is, how do we manage a blended family during the holidays? Well, this, this isn't for me, right? Well, us, just yeah, all of us. us. Yeah. Well, I think first, with our family now, we have six kids. Yeah. And so we have a, we have a, from 11 to 22, so we have a pretty significant range and a lot of people going in different directions. So it's finding time for each ah, other. You can give me that, I'll give it to Finding time for each other, but also out. figuring out Sorry, let me just put Besides, this in so we can hear you. I see. The joys of life. Yeah. Besides scheduling. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, babe. We we always kind of figure you don't have to out. Talk into it, yeah, we always kind of figure out a time that we can all get together. We yeah. can all be together and finding that time and that space and trying to make everybody like Everybody can't be happy at the same time yeah. for their I think needs, accepting but it's that too, it. like yeah. surrendering into that. Because yeah. not everybody's happy at the same time. Gotta be a little bit more. Time. Yeah, a little more understanding. Yeah. yeah, but you know, we do chime in and we do have those conversations you know. instead of us just dictating how it's going to be, right? What do you think, Mom? I mean, you've watched the blended family for a long time. As long as you put the kids first. Can you hear my mom? You can come yeah. closer for me, because put the kids' uh, needs first, and uh, everybody has to compromise so that y'all can do something together. Yeah and they see the love that you two have for each other, which is very important. 
um, it works and and you treat Brooks kids like they're your own I mean yeah. there's so much yeah. love between Brooks kids and you and she loves your children yeah. she's even accepted your dog <laughs> that was that was that was actually tough my mom always that keeps it real well that gatsby is everywhere yes. but no i'm glad you said that because yeah. there, there is a lot of acceptance yeah. and i think especially in in spirit of the holidays we have so many expectations so if we learn how to like surrender and just accept things and let them flow and accept when there's good days and there's bad days and different personalities and everybody's needs and desires like we try to consider the kids but we also stay in control and stay in charge and then that's a really good segue to our next question is that somebody asked how do we carve out time for us during the holiday season because there's so many kids there's so much family in town your parents come out my mom's been staying with us the kids have boyfriends and girl, like it's just a lot. We are like a crew. So how do we carve out time for us as a couple, since this was our lover's flow, um, just to kind of survive the, the chaos of the holiday season? What do you think? Well, I, I think it's important that we, we set date nights for just yeah. us two, yeah. who no matter what, like tonight's, who, our when, date tonight's night. you know, we're gonna <laughs> make time for us. But there's other things we do too. Like we'll go for a bike ride, we go for yeah. a walk, we find time to just, kind of disconnect with everyone else and focus on each other. Yeah, I yeah. think that's really yeah. important, like in our past lives, not reincarnation lives, like past wise lives. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, you know, date night was a concept and not everybody really does it. Yeah. And we make sure, we also have joint custody and a different schedule, but we make sure that we have a date night and you've seen that too. Like it's really important to carve yeah. out time for romance. I right? think it works for you too, definitely. I think it's a great idea and you too I try to give you your space on your date night. Yeah. <laughs> My mom's very considerate. I love you. I love you more. All right. That's thanks great. for bringing that yeah. up. I'm going to make our okay. shake. We'll okay. be right in. Okay. Um, but I, I think that's so important, right? Bye, everybody. Bye, Mom. Sure. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> My mom keeps it real. Poor Gatsby. Um, I think, though, when, when it comes to date night and romance, you've got to carve out time as a couple. And we're kind of still in this new young relationship. But especially during the holidays when there's family and there's chaos and we're serving and we're giving and we're trying to make like this spectacular holiday, sometimes a little bit less is more. And even days like this, yeah. when we can connect in the wellness space or in a fitness space, I really enjoyed that. I had a moment to look into your eyes. I had a moment to check in with your body. And I had a moment to sort of feel you like, what's going on? Are you stressed? Are you tight? Are you tired? It's just a moment, right? to connect I think that really matters so true um, okay so we're gonna play one little game okay. and then I'll make our shake so um, it's a it's a cute idea a cute activity that you can do with the kids and you can do it with families and you can do it with each other it's kind of a connection game this light is driving me crazy I used to have a, a, um, a tabletop like a tablescaper of cards that were like questions random questions that you could ask with the kids and they were kind of goofy questions so my kids didn't love it but we're gonna ask each other one question and we do this sometimes for real at night like when we're in separate homes and we're on the phone uh, we say you want to play the question game and he always giggles at me but it's a nice way of just saying is there anything you want to know like do you want to ask yeah. me a question and not everybody does that I feel like couples sometimes stop talking right Okay, so I, do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You go first. Okay, I'll go first. So I have a <laughs> <laughs> This is a real question. What if, hypothetically oh. speaking, what if ESPN canceled their broadcast okay. for football season during the holidays? Or not just ESPN. What if all football, sports. NFL, was on a strike? All sports. Wait a minute. Let me take it next level. What if all sports... We're on strike. Oh, this, is, this is deep. This, this is, is deep. really deep. <laughs> During the holiday season, what would we do with our time? Well, hmm. For just the holiday season? Look, he's shaking. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no. Just, yeah, now, I mean, as much as I appreciate watching sports, I think part of the best time that we've had getting to know each other was during COVID when there were no sports. Yeah. So it was a nice time. And then, like, yeah. it's actually nice to have that disconnect and like kind of be away from it but I think we could find other things to do I think we'll, <laughs> we could be just fine you think you'd be okay. I think we'll be okay. is anyone else feeling me with I the think, excessive I think, amount of sports think, during yeah, the holidays it is quite nice though there's nothing better than having a football game on it Thanksgiving day and 
No, that's yeah. true. That's Christmas true. We have another and, compromise yeah. when because yeah. I'm I'm really into music and I'll share some playlists with all of you too. Yeah. I'll I'll put that up on the site. Yeah. But we when football's on because obviously you get to do what brings you joy as well. And I'm I'm sort of teasing you, but yeah. not really. But but I <laughs> but he'll turn the volume down of the TV so that I can yeah. have music playing in the house. So at yeah. least you can watch it. It's a compromise. It's a compromise. compromise. But I know that that brings you joy as well. So it is. Yeah. It's a total compromise. Yeah. So you're just being thoughtful. Wondering. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was deep. So, um, <laughs> Do you have so, a question for me? Um, let's see. You don't have to say the favorite thing, but what is one of the favorite things in our relationship? I have so many things that I love about yeah. our relationship. Um, I love time at home together. Like, I love being in the kitchen. I love cooking, and I love creating that romance and having those moments to connect. Like, I know I, I could probably get a little boring. I don't always I like to No, I love it. I love But I like being uh, home with you, and I like yeah. creating that ambiance that brings us joy and love and keeps us connected and intimate, and um, I love that time with you. Oh, that's sweet. So, yeah, yeah I love great. you. I love you. Mm. All right, shake okay. time, shake All right. time. All right, everybody, so I'm going to share this recipe with you, but really easy. Remember, it took less okay. than two minutes. Cashew butter, sprinkle of cinnamon if you like it, almond butter for fat. I put oats in here so we have a good filler, and then I always put two scoops of the superfood blend, mm. okay? So here we go. And I haven't made this one before, so we're experimenting. Oh, my God, the beast, the beast. I use this blender every day. Hold on. Every day, at least twice a day. Hang on, Stu. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. It's got to be on. What's going on? This, this is funny. This is funny. <laughs> the light's on. The light just came It on. was on? Okay, yeah. good, good, good. Okay, here we go. The light is on, but no green light. Hold on. If you use your blender as much as I do, you got to clean the connection points. Hold on. There, it's there we go. everybody. That's exactly what you hope doesn't happen in the middle of a... <laughs> Can you open that for me? Yeah. All right. So let's see. So it's a little bit red right now because remember I put the fruit in there. Okay. So here we go, everybody. So for me, this is my first meal. My post-workout shake. This is how I break my fast. For you, this will hold you over until probably lunchtime, right? right. Okay. Real right. feedback. Okay, cheers. cheers. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me. So fun. Me. Mm. Wow. It's really good, right? That's really good. I really actually good. really like the cashew milk. I can't believe this is good for you. <laughs> it tastes really like a milkshake. Mm. Totally tastes like a milkshake. Get it done, mm. everybody. Don't overcomplicate things. We're simplifying wellness at home. Very good. <clears throat> Come back Very over good. next Thursday. We have so many more fun things going on. Thanks, man. Cheers. Good You're job. Welcome. Thanks. <laughs>